Zal doe samo fokus. Hi, uh, living in Limo back here. Uh, I'm going to be making a short animation of a dancing cat for a friend's birthday. And I decided I can record the process of animating because I think I will be using some frame by frame animation and uh, rigged animation. So I think for some of you it might be helpful or fun to see. Also thanks for all the nice things said on the last video about the rap music breakdown. I will make a breakdown of the genocide video. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the cat. This is uh, Faye. Uh, this is the character that's going to be dancing. Also, I'm without a beard right now, but I don't think that's anything for you to notice since you haven't been seeing my face so much until now. But yeah. Okay. Uh, let's start. Uh, I have to draw the cat. This is terrible. So draw it up a little ugly like this, but it's going to work. The cool thing with this vector stuff is that you can just manipulate all the points like this. So I just deleted it. If this one looks ugly, I delete it. I can delete this one but with the Bezier curve. I think that's what it's called. I just pull it up, make it a little more the shape I want. The cool thing is that if you're not so good at just drawing, you can do it this way. If you see this curve over here, to, to make a smooth line like this, th that's not a smooth line, but a one like this, this one, this Bezier curve has to be pointing up. This one also, and this one has to be between them. If I hold Alt, I can move just one of them separately. If I hold control and I can put a point anywhere just by clicking there. Okay, so this is a really bad looking head shape, but this is what I'm going to be using. I have the nose. It's a really beautiful nose, actually. I have the eyebrow. The other eyebrow. And the Pookiest eyes we can put on a cat. Actually, it's not a he, it's a her, it's a she. Respect your pronouns. If you see, do you see this one, this line going out of the other lines? If we take this to over here that looks like a fold up um, paper plane, uh, you, you can uh, click on the thing sticking out and delete it. Stick it out and delete it. And if, if we press K, we can see actually all these vector lines, how they connect and how they work. So you see everything here is uh, connected. We have one sticking out that we don't need. If we take the white arrow, we can delete it. I don't I usually clean them up. I don't care a lot. But do you see, or here, if I turn it off, it looks like it's connecting the black, uh, the lines. If I try to color it, it uh, spills all over and this looks bad that's because for it to be a closed line so it doesn't spill out it has to intersect with another bezier curve and as, if you can see if it's here we have one point and let's say we have a one point here Th there are no points in here but if i take it drag it and pull it over here we have a point and we can delete this other point and now if i take the, the bucket tool bam we have black lipstick so yeah that's about it uh, with the vector drawings I think we have the head over here looks like it has a toothache like me because I have bad gums brush your teeth that's really important and I can color it like this I colored it but we have this little thing sticking out if I color it you can co uh, the cool thing is you can color by pulling you make a line and it colors everything the line goes through. It's really easy for coloring. But for this one over here, if we stick it out, we can see that this one, this place here and this place, uh, it's not uh, separated. One cool thing is with uh, Alt and V, there is a connecting tool. It's this one. It's called a stroke tool. And I can 
put a stroke over here which closes up the teeth place and if I color it, bam, we are colored. And over here we have the head of course, we can move it like this with the peg. I'm going to put it here, I'm going to make a new uh, drawing, uh, a new drawing layer, yes, layer. Put a peg on it, put a peg in it. Uh, one thing you, you should have in mind, let's say I'm drawing with the black. I make this black circle. Uh, the black circle is this layer here. The the head of Faye is this one. Everything that's on the left side is in front. Everything on the right side is in the back. So if I put it like this, the black is intersecting it and vice versa. I'm trying to sound professional, aren't you? One moment so I take off my pants because it's really hot. Okay, I'm currently without pants. So what dance should you make? Ballet and you're probably wondering why she has no arms that's because we're going to put the arms afterwards with oh small little beautiful shoes okay something like this and I can make the um, legs bounce a little uh, if I turn this over here this one over here I can uh, see through the top layers. I made a new layer for the arms and I'm currently on it. This is why you're not seeing what's going underneath. This is why everything is grayed out, I mean. So I'm thinking of making the arms wiggle like this. <laughs> oh, this, this arm looks broken. Like this, okay, some cartoony adventure time style. Oh guys, do you want me to be super lazy and just animate one arm and flip it over? Yes, you do. On the keyboard, it's upside down currently. I'm going to flip it over in the video and show you. This key and this key here, I can toggle and switch uh, frames in the program. Just so I know why it's disappearing. And if I turn on the onion skin, I can see the arm. Let's make a wiggle animation of an arm, frame by frame. It's actually quite easy. Uh, holding Ctrl and Alt helps me rotate the screen, the canvas. So, in most of animation, you have about, let's say, two keyframes, which are your two positions that go, uh, if you're going to be making a looped animation like this. Uh, we have both of them and we're going to be switching from both of them. One misconception is uh, you have this one, the, pur the purple or blue one, and you have the green one. So if we follow this one, this line over here and this line over here only, without looking the bottom ones, without looking these ones, you're going to think if I'm going to draw the in-between, between both of them, I'm going to make, uh, for it to go like this, it should go closer to each other. So, going closer to each other, let's say going from the blue to the green, we're going to put one here, one here, one here, and one here, right? That's making it closer, so following the top line only. Yeah, and you see it kind of is wiggling, right? It looks like it's wiggling. Well, that's wrong. This is not wiggling. L let me show you. If I make this line here and I make the next line opposite of it and I draw one in between them and let's say I make uh, two more frames. Yeah. And if I turn out the onion skin over here, tick, 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 it looks like it's still uh, wiggling, right? Well, uh, it, it, it is. And if I turn it on, you can see it's going whoop, 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 whoop. What you're actually seeing is kind of a wiggling animation, but it's more of a, it's a straight going this, going this, going this, going like this, going like this, going like this. And it's not exactly uh, wiggling. When something is wiggling, the force of the back goes to the force of the front. It pushes it. So over here, my elbow is lifting up and if I had more joints over here it was going to bend more, more of a curve and it, when it curves it's going to shoot up my uh, this part of my hand I'm not sure what it's called and then the, the elbow goes down 
this one goes up, then the elbows goes up again, this one goes down, and this one goes up. So it's pushing it, and then it's going the same way. And it's making a wave, it's pushing forward. What we're seeing here is actually one point, which is this one here, where they are connecting, going up, then going down, going up and going down. Because our top frame is this one, our bottom frame is this one, and the middle one is here. We don't need that. We want a smooth line going over there, like a wave. So, what I showed you how to do here is not how you do it. You can do it, of course, but uh, if you want to make a smoother uh, wiggling animation, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Okay, I think this is a cool curve. I'm, again, making the opposite one of this keyframe, but now I'm going to separate two of the keyframes and I'm going to come back to the, f uh, the first one later. I just have it for the looping. So now we do this. We have uh, this this part over here at the top, this one at the bottom. So our next uh, frame has to move this part forward. So this one here has to come over here. So we're going to have to make this part over here, I have to make it uh, move forward. Like this. And you can see it's going forward. I have this one, this one, and yeah, this one is going to end up here. This part is a little more... Uh, you know, boring, it's just drawing. Unless you like drawing, like me. I hate drawing. I want to be a lawyer. So, okay, you see uh, the curve is moving forward. Yeah, like this. We can, over or we can already see the movement okay i think we have the loop right now they're on ones so each drawing is holding on one frame i want them on two frames so it's a little slower movement oh 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 yeah look at it it's disgusting absolutely oh but that's what we wanted we didn't want this we wanted this. Yeah. We have one arm. Uh, let's applaud ourselves. Congratulations. We did it together. We have one arm. Why not just loop it? make it a little longer let's move its pegs face over here and flip it like this put it over here and one thing that it's that it's that that's important put it behind the body and play it oof where, where did it go and this is important you see how uh, I flipped it and I started the video and it's gone this is because Okay, you see this red dot over here? This is the keyframe. This is the keyframe that we are using. This is the one that I flipped. Uh, we have it over here, the arm. And if I move it, you see the other one is underneath it. And if I move it here, let's go to the arm that I'm holding right now. Over here, we have this keyframe and this keyframe. If I move it, bam, we have a keyframe here. That's because we move the arm. And it's pulling a keyframe where we are on the timeline. So the problem over here is because I put the keyframe at the end of the timeline. So what we do is we copy this keyframe with Control C. We can uh, Control V on top of the first one, and we delete this one with F7. F7 deletes just the keyframe without the drawing. We pull this over here, and if we play it, this looks absolutely appalling, but I love it. I think we're going to need another body because this body just doesn't work for this style. We're going to make a little, yeah, a little, what's it called? What is this thing called? An open pant. <laughs> I, I remember what it's called. Let's make a little skirt move. When I have two keyframes that it's actually one keyframe just um, made longer, if I go to the second one, hold Shift Alt and D, it makes a duplicate of it. 
to come here with the drawing substitutes. Let's say on the second one I have this over here and I go on the second one and I pick the first one. If I switch from the first, you see it uses the second one and if I go on the second one it uses the first. This is how I make a lip sync. Each mouth movement is another drawing substitute. I have the first one, which is this one, and I want to get rid of the skirt on the bottom one. Yeah, and if I turn the on skin, do an in between. This one, this <laughs> this time, as you can see, I'm making the wiggle line as we made it the first time. But that's pretty much all we need. Like this, uh, we we have three frames of the skirt. We just make it on twos. We copy the second one, put it here, make it double, and now it's looping. And now uh, it's a small movement. It's not very well animated, but it's what I'm going to use right now. Maybe, baby. Maybe I'll mo make it on trees. Yeah, on trees it looks best better. So now we're going to come here, make another layer, make a peg for it, connect it to the whole big picture. And what we're going to do now, draw the legs. Cute little beautiful shoes. Copy the bottom part because I'm going to be using it. It's not going to move. And we're going to be bending it. And of course we need the uh, in-betweens uh, just following the movement um, I don't really want to make a time-lapse tutorial I'm trying to make it as fast and as flexible as possible so that you can see what the real-time process is but of course if you want to make it more polished it's going to take a, lo uh, a longer time So like this and like that. If you want to make it look better, make your first frame, uh, your first in between, closer between the keyframes, and that stands for the last one also. It starts the movement slower and more smoother, and ends it more slower and smoother. So keep the movement on your regular in betweens constant, and just ease it out and ease it in, like. So, what color are the shoes gonna be? Oh yeah, dark purple looks nice. Copy frames, copy frames, you see copy frames, like that. And you have paste reverse, which paste them in the reverse order. So uh, we have to duplicate the leg, put a peg on it, put a peg in it, you know the drill. The legs are on their own pegs. The body and the arms and the head are going to be on one other. Over here we made a keyframe with F6 and when it's at the bottom we're going to move the body to the bottom with this uh, button over here we make the in-between as you can see it's just, it's going down it's following the frame and if I copy the last one that it's th at the top and I put it over here which this is the top it's following it I'm going to make the same at the bottom whoop whoop and if we play it, oh, this looks beautiful. Yeah, this looks amazing. Final touches. Let's uh, make a really, really uh, simple face rig. For that, we're going to have to separate some of the head parts. Uh, circle the mouth and I press F9. It gives me the opportunity to make a new layer and name it mouth in the node view we have the mouth we're going to make a, uh, a new peg that's going to be for the face this is the face peg we're going to put the mouth with its own peg connect to the face peg and when we're on the mouth we're going to delete the mouth on the head layer so now if when I'm I have these two turned on if I go to uh, a layer it just shows you that layer so if I'm here I want the face I'm here, I'm on the mouth. Take the mouth, I can move the mouth separately. And that's what I'm going to do for the eyes also. So I did the same for the eyes, here they are. I'm going to connect them. This looks kind of scary. 
and now I can move the eyes separately and the mouth separately. Uh, over here, like I showed you before, uh, I'm going to make go on the second layer and I'm going to extend the eyes. Uh, shift out and D, it makes a duplicate. And on the duplicate, open and close the eyes. Okay, let, let's not be too lazy. I'm going to make one more in between. With, and okay, here we have them. And let's say we need a blink over here on the timeline. When we need a blink over here, I just moving with the arrows on the keyboard. Press this one, move two keyframes forward. Press this one, move three keyframes forward so the eyes are uh, closed for a longer part. This one, two, one, uh, two keyframes, and this one. So when I play it, blink. And if I just copy this and put it here, we have a blink, blink, blink. And if I turn this on, there we go. We can blink and move at the same time. I, I'm not going to make the mouth movements. The mouth movements, uh, I don't have anything. I'm going to play some music on top of it. I'm not sure. It's going to be something romantic. I'm, I'm thinking some opera, maybe, something like that. Some That's pretty much the animation. Here, this is the tree you can see it right now. This is everything we have over here. We have the one connecting the movement of the top body, the two legs over here, and the face over here. And of course, the arms are here. Excellent. It's excellent. It's perfect. It's not perfect. It's not excellent, but it works. And I think this was kind of helpful for you guys. I have uh, 23 seconds of this recording going right now. So uh, if you like the video, tell me about it. Uh, expecting the genocide breakdown soon and other stuff coming with it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and brush your teeth. Oh.